Hi guys, Alex here, and today we're going to be talking about Foodie Beauty. Yes, this video is all about our girl, the Canadian queen, Miss Foodie Beauty, who has been beezing all day long for quite a few days now. And you guys have spoken, you want to see more Foodie Beauty content, so I took it upon myself to watch her live Get Ready With Me that she put up yesterday. We're going to talk about that, and then we're going to get into a little bit of a reaction to her video called It's Over, Moving On. Ooh. Ooh, sounds juicy, doesn't it? But first, yes, I wanted to talk about yesterday's live stream. She was showering on stream. It seemed like a little bit of a new low for her. Not really. I mean, she's done that before, right? She was getting ready to see Dom. And I noticed that she's having some vocal issues. I don't know. I don't want this to come off as rude or mean because that's not where I'm coming from. But if you guys know what I mean, you know what I mean? then you know. It's a little bit strange. It's a little bit off-putting. I hope she is okay and nothing is wrong in that regard. Very interesting. Someone brings up in the chat that they have seen Dom on Badoo, and Foodie Beauty is not very happy about that. But she doesn't care. She assures everyone that he is not her boyfriend, so it doesn't matter if he still has plenty of fish installed or if he's on Badoo, another dating app, which I don't know if people actually really use, but I've heard about it before. She also uses the term fudge packer, which seems to upset some people in the audience. Oh, sorry. Fudge packer. Oh, sorry. Honestly, I just had to laugh at it. I don't expect anything less from Foodie Beauty at this point. And if anyone is packing any fudge, it's Miss Diarrhea every day. I mean, we know how to do this if you know you know. At the end of the stream, she lets us know how she continues to lose weight. Time for nose candy. How else do you think I'm losing weight? It wasn't a very good night. I'll just say that. All right, let us know what happened. So this is the morning after the regret is setting in. We've all been there, you guys. We've all been there. Crusty toe cheese. If you have in your line. Mmm, cheese. I'm definitely okay. craving cheese today. Like cheese toasties. Girl, like, isn't... I feel like her dinner the other day was just like cheese on bread and then like she put a tomato on it because like if you put a tomato on it, it's healthy. <laughs> I mean, it's real food. She's losing weight. Hi, Jean. Look at this cat. Look at this cat. Tim, you're in such suspense. Hi, Vans. One question. Do you get all of your stuff? No, but you know. Yeah, girl, you're out of, you're out of, um, out of a TV. <laughs> If you guys didn't know, because I had a couple of people ask me about the TV, um, she claims that they were cleaning and he bumped it off of a table and it broke. Believe it if you want. You know what? Stuff I left there, I can get. Oh, no, I better not. I don't want to yes, get sucked girl. in. She's a streamer. She's a famous streamer, you guys. What is a, like, crappy TV and, like, a few edibles? <clears throat> Hi, Orphine Pashi. And $200 worth of plus-size lingerie. Oops. Everyone in the chat playing cheeseburgers. <laughs> Why is it over? Well, let me put it this way. I don't want to go into detail because I want to respect his privacy. He's not a bad person. We need to know every last detail. <laughs> Look at it. Girl, them damn cats. Sin. No, sweetie. Stay in your spot. It's here. Stay. It wouldn't be the same without the cats, though, would it? In a minute. I only gave her... There was only five treats left, so she's freaking out. <laughs> I did have fun, but... But? But what? We have problems, too. And I have problems already. Well, girl, every relationship has problems. Problems already. Now? This is the first problem? It's just... I was disrespected. Not like anything super What did he do? What did he do? I was disrespected in a way that made me uncomfortable. And I, I, I really, really thought in that moment, like, am I happy right now with the way I'm being treated? What did he do? Why am I like, <laughs> I'm on here like criticizing her all the time, but I'm still like, I kind of want to beat that guy's What did he do? What did he do? No. It reminded me of ways I used to be treated, like in bad relationships. <clears throat> just yep, you're older now you're wiser allegedly <laughs> so yeah do not settle for anyone especially if they're treating you like a jerk i mean you can settle on looks when you get older you know those fade that bad vibe and i thought you know what i promised myself i'm almost fucking 40 um there's just so don't settle on bad behavior out though. there that are that would that would treat me the way i want to be treated so i'm not settling 
No, don't. Um, I found it interesting that he like didn't really have a TV, didn't have a car. He didn't have like, what did he even have going on, girl? What did he have going on? Anything? Connects? <laughs> you guys connects? Mm -mm -mm. So, I just, I feel like I just deserve better. <laughs> I know that sounds bad. Um, well, if he's treating you like shit, and nobody deserves that. Nobody. It sucks because yeah, obviously I do have some feelings there, uh, but. <sighs> At the same time, I just feel it's what's best for me right now. Basically. That's what's best for me. Yeah, I would have so to agree. I mean, we heard the red flags. Not really sure what happened the night before, but she was disrespected. Get out of there, girl. Oh, I'm not going to say what he did, Cat Queen. I just don't want to get into it. No, he didn't beat me or anything. But oh, my uh... gosh. <clears throat> well, I mean, that's good. At least it was strictly verbal as far as we know from what she's saying. There's some things that just bother me that I just but don't still, feel that that stuff hurts as well. Will improve. So, um, like I've given it some time. Uh, I've told him how I feel. What is he doing? Um, like, what does he have to bring to the table? That's what I don't. What is he bringing to the table? Um, this is a joint effort so, here. <laughs> it just has to be that way. That's all. Hi, Nessa. <laughs> I mean, technically love affection is that it like just sex and that might last for like a little while but <laughs> that's not gonna last forever just that we weren't ever like i know i said like yeah we were official but we weren't like official because <clears throat> like i said like i would go back and forth a lot with what i wanted and he didn't really feel like he could read me like he knew what i wanted like i don't know what i want well that's the same thing you you made that clear to us as well because it was like one minute he was her her boyfriend the next minute she didn't want a boyfriend one minute they were serious next day he was you know gallivanting around town with other women like and then she was peeking in his bedroom doors peeking in his apartment doors um craziness Marie, did he admit to his bedroom i didn't bring that up oh <clears throat> I don't I don't I don't care. I'm assuming that people found this Badu profile and that's why they keep bringing it up. <laughs> people be looking for him. Yeah. Crazy. It sucks. It really sucks. It does because I really like spending time but what do you want a piece? You want a piece? You want foodie booties, uh, sloppy seconds? Times there are things that, that stress me is? out a bit. Hi, Audrey. Um, I don't know how to, just the way, it's just the way he is. Yeah, the, the exactly. I could see those behaviors making me fucking miserable in the future. And mean kittens, hi. Right. You're you know what? It sucks to me. Like people just being like stubborn or just like so self centered, like an inability to make a sacrifice. Kitten bitch. <laughs> and I just don't want to deal with that. Like I'm, I, I don't. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not telling you guys nothing like what you're thinking. It's just, uh, yeah. What are we thinking? Now I, I'm like waiting with bated breath. Just, I don't allow people to treat me like that. Like, <clears throat> don't. I know. I say I don't have any. Um, like I'm not going to allow people to. You know. Exactly. Have I've some been through this self respect kind of thing a long time ago, where it's like you just let people treat you a certain way. They'll walk all over you. Some people will, you know, especially if it's a narcissist. Especially if you caught yourself a narcissist. Forget about it. You're nice. Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> and, See how and nice I really you are. just ask myself, like, am I really, really, really happy right now? Like laying in this bed with this person, considering everything. What was it like? Was it stinky? Was it messy? Is it dirty? Was it you know, cut? All was it fun, uncut? All partying aside, like, you know what I mean? Hi, Marty. Ew! What was that? <clears throat> Thanks, Page Master. I don't. I'm not. I don't want to change anybody, Cat Queen. That's. It's not that serious. It wasn't that serious. Hi, Jeff Dunn. Fart as fart. My yeah, you don't you don't want to fix the rapper girl. Edibles didn't come yet, Andreas. <laughs> so it's gonna be straight edge today. Whatever am I gonna do? A straight edge, yeah, right. I mean, for one night, okay. So I got my AC on full blast. Feel back in my element. <laughs> the edibles. I've never seen anyone act like she does on weed, but I just <laughs> yeah, plain cheeseburger. Not edible person. <clears throat> No, it's nothing weight related at all. No, he's the opposite with the weight thing. I mean, he like when she gets like really bad, like it reminds me of, you know, drinking and smoking at the same time. He tries his best to make me feel good about my body. You're so fucking cute. I hate but you right maybe now. Maybe that's how edibles are. I don't know. And he, you heard that I broke up with him, didn't you? You little slut. You want me all to yourself. No more sex. I know the sex is good, but at the same time, that's not going to carry a life. That's not going to carry a marriage. <laughs> marriage. Right. <coughs> oh my god. So I just woke up, so I'm like puffy and gross, sniffy. You're so happy. That shit gets so You're annoying happy. real fast. You are, baby girl. Look, she got her fake hair piece. 
So it doesn't match. <laughs> She's so happy. Yeah, I wore that nice lingerie. It's very flattering on me. He's like, I really love when you wear that. It's so nice. Um, Come on, girl. Don't fantasize. Don't romanticize. You got to move on. <clears throat> I just left. I woke up. I got up. Like, I slept for a little, little bit. And then I like came home. Oh yeah, Becky B. It's so, I've had men do that. So, fuck off. Why are you with me then if you don't like my body? Like kiss my fat ass. Aspires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you I know, it's just like someone who likes you for who you are right now, especially when you're foodie and it's been a while. Conflict of maybe personality a bit, the, the, the things that are important. Things aren't changing. So you better like what you got right now. That if I ignore now, they're gonna yeah. be a problem, you know? And I feel like certain things about me annoy him too. <clears throat> And I think, like, I'm just not that type of girl. Like, I'm not a sub or I'm not... Do you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> what kind of things were they doing? Was that even serious? I know there was a lot of people almost offended by her misrepresentation of the BDSM community. <laughs> I don't really know too much about that, but I guess she just doesn't like being sub, whatever that really entails. Men piss me off very quickly, and I, I voice my opinion, and... No, sorry. But did he have her like tied up and shit? My throat is itchy. How can you? Oh, the, wait, was that her or not? That what the what the fuck was that? It, it sounded like something flapping. Something. Flapping. How can you? This could never be me. Oh yeah, that was her. This could never be me. Like I'd have to make sure like my hair, like there's not too many like hairs sticking out too much or else I get like a little self-conscious. I don't know. I just couldn't come on like right out of bed. But you know, that's what it like be presentable a little bit. You got what? 33,000 people watch this. It's like a stadium. Itchy throat. Not to mention the countless reaction views. Hi, sweetie. I just couldn't do it. Not with those numbers. Uh-uh. She's put herself on display with no apologies. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the uh, insecure one. <coughs> Way work. Yep. Time to work on me. So we can hear. All right. Yes. Let's do a My 400 Pound Life series. Bring it back, girl. We're waiting for it. We need a journey. We need some inspiration. <sighs> Robies, Mary Jo, take some Benadryl. I need, still need to get some. Can you believe it? I still haven't done that. Don't take too many. <laughs> Marissa, I still need some. That'll be Should next. Go shopping today? <laughs> get some stuff at the pharmacy? Actually, it's like a past fall. It's like late. Go so to like CVS in... with me. Oh, so exciting. In touch with my doctor today. <clears throat> That's okay. I will. I'm going back. I gotta test my blood. And yes, I'm sad a little bit because All I right. about it. You like my little bun? Well, yeah, girl. Like you just, Hi, sweetie. you so know, my... got out of a 14 day relationship. Like it's got, it's got to be devastating. Blood sugar was pretty low yesterday. I didn't. What did I eat yesterday? I don't even think I ate. I had I had some great a little few grapes at his house. <laughs> Well, it was a good diet while it lasted. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> what was it? The nose candy or just, you know, being preoccupied is very important for a healthy diet, I feel like. Just keep your mind off of that food. Get some allergy pills. Allergy no. pills. I definitely need allergy pills. That's on the top of my fucking list. Taking one every single... Can you take them every day? Oh, well, you don't sniff want to take Benadryl. That makes you feel like shit. Just take like... Take Zyzol, buy an air purifier, and, you know, sometimes to put that thing up your nose. The spray, girl, not that. Playing and itching my eyes and scratching my throat, I'd be in heaven right now. <clears throat> DoorDash allergy pills. Oh, uh, my pen. Get to step in, get to move in. Clean my pig's life. Make it my haven. Make it my sanctuary. You are my sanctuary. It really was such a mess the last time we saw it, at least her bedroom. Uh, just trash all over the floor. Girl, how could you live like that? Like, get a trash can in your bedroom if you have to. Um, I recommend it. <laughs> Some people, I don't know. I like a trash can in the bedroom. I used to like that sign and that that song and that line remind me of him. Who needs the light? Especially when you're a big consumer like she is. A lot of trash. With the darkness in you. Do you see his eyes? They're very dark. Heck, put a recycling bin in there. <laughs> Maybe not. Going on behind those eyes. Anyway, I just uh Did we see him, girl? Did we see him? <clears throat> At least she admitted it was her fault in the previous I'll be all right. video that people found out who he was. There's so many more men in the sea. Like what the fuck? Who cares, right? Oh wait. Fish? I know that's men. mean. 
in the sea. I did really like him though, but I mean, I don't really know him that well. What was there to <laughs> lie? 8.1, just pretty. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe four to seven is normal before eating. So she would be, I think before eating, because she just woke up, she's at an eight. I guess not too bad. I don't know. Don't take well, my advice on that. <clears throat> it was like 14. It's like half. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, well, it's progress. It is progress. But I didn't eat anything like yesterday and today. So <laughs> should be lower. Oh. Not if you're diabetic, I guess. <clears throat> well, what'd you eat before that? Girl, we know what you ate before that. The darkness in you. No, I'm just going to go right back, Mimi Link, into the one milligram, I think. That's true, Tiffany. I can't worry about men right now. Who's asked you got a kick? You're supposed to be getting your uh, health back in order. What happened to that? Then she started doing the hard drugs. I need your assistance, Louis. <laughs> Aw, but no magic tricks. He said he would do it. I think we'll live. BBJ is judging me. She's a bitch. She's a bitch. This chat is where the real man. Louis, I'm free to bees all every day now. Okay, Mr. Daisy. <coughs> I'll show him a magic. No, I just, I, we were in bed and he was pissing me off about something. And uh, so I was like acting mad. And then I'm uh -huh. like, I'm going home. And he was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. blah. So then, uh, tale as old as time. I just caught up and I got she my, she packed her bags and she got out of Shit, it. And I, go, I, I said, I'm leaving. Like, I'm well, good for you, girl. I don't think you believe me. You have to put your foot down, you know, you have to put your foot down. You have to put your foot down um, once and for all. These men will just walk all over you these days. Visa Palooza. There's not a members only ch uh, Discord r yet, Canadian Timbit. I'm going to work on that. Full on bees this weekend. Yeah. <clears throat> so what happened was when I left, I texted him from the car and I said. Oh, uh, so you were playing that game, girl. You're not as innocent as you want us to think. Uh, what did I say? I'm like, I don't want to see you anymore. Um, you super disrespected me. I just want to know um, what he said. Have a nice life. You're lost. And then I woke up to a text just saying thanks. <laughs> like, no. So I wrote, oh, and you're not even sorry. To top it off, you don't even, you're not even sorry for how you treated me. Um, and. Girl, that's when it's time to just go. Just let it go and move That's on. too bad because I actually, like, whenever I care about somebody and all you have to do is treat me good. And I. Well, that's, that goes to show you how he really felt about you, girl. Like. It was nothing to him. I'll give you the fucking world, like, on a platter. Like, whatever I can do for you, I will do for you. Not a thing, but a chicken wing. I'm a good friend that way. I'm a good, like, love partner that way. <laughs> Just another lover. But... Just another story time in a few years. She'll be eating some Olive Garden red lobster or something. Telling a story time about her lover. How they did things together. I know when people try to take advantage of me. Not, I'm not saying him. I'm just saying in general, like, in the past. Like, I know that this will eventually come out. What he said will eventually come out. Like when I say that I'm a good person, I know when people like... She's only holding on to it because she thinks that there might still some be something there and she doesn't want him to find out. I can tell when people are just lying to me or... It's just like certain things in his behavior that, that, that are going to be problematic. And you know what's fucked up? He knew it because whenever I first met him, like the second day, we were in bed and he was Eye like... Boogers, really? I don't want to, I don't want to lose you. And I'm like, what? Like the second Did day. that not give you a, was that not a red flag for you? Like, I know I'm going to say something to fuck it up or do something to fuck it up. And I was like, nah, yeah, he was right. All right, you guys, this shit is fucking miserable. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think happened between Foodie Beauty and her man? What was the final straw that made her leave? And will she take him back? That is the question now at hand. She has taken him back after several different indiscretions. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. I'll probably finish watching this and report back to you guys what exactly goes on in the rest of the video. But let me know for now what you guys think in the comments down below. I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.